Hello to all of our Monumental Network fans out there. Jamoke Davis here for a special introduction. We have Haley Mylon, our new Monumental Network host, as joining us. So we wanted you to get a chance to get to know her as we talked to her about her career before this and your decision to come here. Uh, you hail from McLean, Virginia. So how exciting is it to be hired here to cover teams that you followed growing up? Right, this is my hometown growing up around D.C. I grew up coming to the games here at the Verizon Center, seeing countless teams. Being here on the court is unreal. I went to George Washington. I just graduated a couple months ago, so I'm very familiar with the sports scene here in D.C. So this is so exciting to actually be a real part of it and to be a part of Monumental. And it's unfortunate because the Mystics did get eliminated from the playoffs, but the Wizards will be here soon. And then, of course, the Caps will be here as well. The ice is going to be underneath this court at some point. What is it, what's your favorite memory when you remember growing up of following the Caps and Wizards, a favorite player from either one of those teams or the Mystics? Well, I'll tell you, I actually, I come from a family that is big on baseball, pretty big on basketball as well, but we never really watched much hockey. And I remember I was maybe 15 when I came to my first Caps game and wow. it was just electric. Now, <laughs> this wasn't too long ago, but <laughs> it was just insane. Just the environment, the whole rock the red thing. I remember getting my first Capitals t-shirt and not wanting to leave. I just kept coming back to games. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. You're rocking right. the red, you exactly. know, and now you'll be covering those teams. Before this, you covered baseball. You talked yes. about baseball and you came from GW. What was it like covering the Nats and that experience? How do you think it's going to help you here? Right, my sophomore year, I started as a multimedia reporter for MLB Advanced Media, covering the Nationals, it was very eye-opening. I really learned a lot about journalism, not just sports, but you know how to handle certain situations. And I learned what fans want to know when when they're looking online at stuff, and you know when they go to social media, what they want to see. So that was very eye-opening, and it was a great opportunity for me to learn how to really do everything: be on camera, interview, write get cool Instagram photos that fans want to see yeah, when they're not at yeah. the games. So that was, you know, wonderful. That was a tremendous addition to my education at George Washington. I was very busy going to games. The baseball schedule is a grind, <laughs> but I'm sure hockey, basketball will be as well. But, you know, I'm looking forward to bringing that here to Monumental and, yeah. and applying that here. Yeah, baseball is definitely a grind. That three days, and sometimes it's still it's a 12 going. game homestand, it just never seems <laughs> yep. to end. At GW, you did a lot. And the thing is, you know, you're not only on camera, but behind the scenes, you were editing, you know how to work with the camera as mm -hmm. well. Just bringing that total package here, how much fun has it been for you to kind of see all of the aspects of television and be able to do it now on a pro level? It's been a blast. I've always wanted to be a sports reporter, but I found when I got to college, you really need to have a complete toolkit and know how to do everything. So I learned how to edit. I learned how to shoot. I'm not an artist per se, but I've gotten pretty creative with my <laughs> videography. It's not horrible. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to continuing editing, producing, and, and yeah. you know, shooting video. But at George Washington, yeah, I mean, our sports is very up and coming. Our basketball team kind of saw a bit of a turnaround during the time that I was there and that's going to continue. Mm -hmm. But getting to be a part of that kind of turnaround for the sports department and see all the excitement start to build where it once kind of wasn't yeah. was really neat. And I got to operate social media. I got to travel to games, do play by play, do color analysis for the men's basketball teams. Uh, the women's basketball teams, the baseball team even. So it was it was a tremendous experience because I got so much hands-on yeah. experience. Wearing a lot of different hats. and uh, Exactly. There's a lot of excitement here with the turnaround of the Washington Wizards. Uh, the Caps didn't make the playoffs, but, you know, this year hopefully they'll be able to do well with some of the new additions that they have as well. If you can just talk about what you're looking forward to out of those two teams this season, not so much a prediction, but just – covering them and seeing them live on a daily basis. Right. I won't make a prediction yet. I'm really looking forward to the big schedules, those double headers. I've heard from people around around here that, you know, it's going to be hugely busy having back to back yeah. games. I'm really looking forward to what the Wizards are going to do. I know it's going to be a great product on the court this season. The Caps, I mean, just getting to be by the ice and, you know, getting to see the most exciting player in the NHL in person yeah. play, you know, every home game. Yes. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm really excited for that. 
All right, well, this is only the beginning for us, Haley. I'm very happy to have you here. I know that you have a lot of big shoes to fill with Casey, but I know you can do it. We're going to build a rapport. We're going to spend a lot of time together, and you are going to spend a lot of time with Haley as well as we do our American Express Home Court Advantage show and some of the other things we have for you coming up here on Monumental Network.